Okay, so we're going to set up the password protection on this. Uh, you first go into the toolbox, and in the maintenance menu, you'll see a key that says disable toolbox. Select that. You'll at first want to set change the toolbox disable password to whatever it is, and in here you're going to type it in. So here's uh, one that I've set up for this device. And go OK. Make sure it's something you might remember. It could even be like the first name of the student that's using it. Um, and make sure you write it down. If you don't, it's a little bit challenging to get it unlocked later on. Uh, once you've done that, then you're going to go in the toolbox at the top here, and you're going to actually disable the toolbox. This becomes highlighted with the tool key. Make sure this stays enabled. Do not mess with that. If you do, it requires a special USB to unlock it if you ever want to do something else with it, and it can be quite a challenge to deal with if you haven't set that up ahead of time. So make sure you do not touch this section. I'll go OK, and go OK, and go OK. And so now if you go into here, and you want to actually do something cool, it's going to ask for that password. Once that's done, now you have access to some of the tools. In order to actually work in here, you're going to have to go into the maintenance menu, disable toolbox, re-enable it, and then you can do things like program pages, modify pages, and once you're done, go back into the maintenance menu, go back to disable toolbox, and disable it again.